Greetings everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel again. Welcome to the Nigerian Tech Bro, uh, just another IT guy. So I'm um, in this series, um, this is the third video for the series uh, where we are looking at um, installing the Wazon SIM tool on Kubernetes, but we are making use of EKS, which is um, a service on AWS. So EKS is um, a managed um, Kubernetes um, service on um, AWS. So in our last video, we were able to set up our VPC, set up our subnets, as well as uh, configure our security group for the purpose of this project. So um, in this video, we'll be looking at um, setting up appropriate permissions um, for the um, purpose of this project, the permissions that will be required to implement the EKS cluster and the um, WASO SIM tool on the EKS. Um, even if you are familiar with setting up an EKS cluster, I advise you pay attention to everything in this um, video because um, there might be some things that, you know, challenges you are experiencing and um, this video will help you solve it. So, let's get straight into the video. So, uh, if you haven't watched uh, my last video, please um, go back and watch the video so you can catch up with us to where we are right now. So, um, I want you to go to IAM. If you don't have it on your dashboard, um, you can use the search bar here and go to IAM. Now, once you go to IAM Management Console, I want you to click on Roles. Now, once you click on Roles, I want you to create a new role. We'll be creating two different roles. Eventually, you get to see where we'll use them. But for a smooth uh, video, I want us to create the permissions now because I'm already aware that we'll need them. So, ensure you select AWS service, then the common use case should be EC2, then you click Next. Now, at this point, we are going to attach every policy we want. Um, so, uh, the first policy we'll be attaching is the uh, CNI policy for EKS. So you select that. The next one should be EBS policy so what this does is uh, without this policy uh, some of um, your deployments on EKS will find it hard to provision volumes will find it hard to provision volumes so you look for this um, Amazon EBS CSR driver policy so because um, by default, Amazon does not um, create um, a read and write and permission for the EBS storage on the EKS cluster. Um, you will have issues mounting up volumes for some of your deployments. Uh, so to avoid that, you need to mount this, uh, you need to attach this policy to the role we are creating. Now we have um, two more policies left to to attach uh, so this is what we are looking for the EC2 container registry with the read only permission. And then for the last one, we are looking for the uh, EKS worker node policy. This is what we're looking for, the EKS worker policy. 
So once you select this, you click next. So in total, you supposed to have selected four of these policies. If it's not four, please um, go back in time in the video, in this video, and um, confirm what you are missing. So you can give this policy whatever name uh, you want. So uh, I'm going to name this one green. Green worker mode. Uh, then, if you are watching this video in June 2023, the description comes up by default. So um, I don't want to put any tag. I don't want to put any tag there. Just confirming we are not missing any other thing. So um, sorry, I I, I overclicked. So. The role is being created. I if I even uh, because of um, double clicking, too much clicking, I uh, started creating a new role. So the role is being created. Um, let's search for the role. So we have the role there, the green worker mode. So let's create one more role. So uh, this will this ensure you select AWS services above, then you come to that drop down, and then I want you to type EKS. And I want you to type EKS. Select EKS. Now, once you select EKS, what you select is EKS cluster, not EKS. EKS cluster. Then you click next. Now, once you do that, you have these permissions attached. Then you click next. Then you give it a name that you want. Mm. So the name can be whatever, but I choose to give this one Green Worker. Why I always like to put Green Cluster is uh, it makes it easy for me to identify custom implementation so anything node anywhere at all I if once I see that I know oh this is actually done by you know the user so it's a it's a um, tradition I have adopt I have adopted so uh, create the role first So the role is being created. So what we have successfully done here is that we have created the um, required um, permissions for the implementation for this project we are about to do. So I just want us to confirm the roles we've created. Okay, so these both of them. We have the Green Worker node. And the green um, cluster node. Let me just look at the green cluster.
so when you open the green cluster node the one we just created you click attach policies like you click add permission and then attach policy and i want you to look for ebs search for ebs once you do that you see the same policy ebs csi driver add that permission Now, once you've done that, we've completed our video on permissions and policies for the Wazo SIM tool on Kubernetes EKS hosted by AWS. So, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section or if you have anything you think um, was not done properly or should be adjusted or you have a video you think I should do or a review you want me to do, uh, please use the comment section. Other than that, if you just like the video, click the like button and please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. You know, this is Nigerian Tech Bro, just another IT guy.